hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are back with an ansible tutorial so what we are going to see we are going to see how easy and simple way we can set up a lamp stack using ansible playbook so i have done a lamp stack uh, playbook tutorial so that was a little bit different from this so i just want to make it a little bit more simplified here okay so uh, if you don't know what is a lamp stack, uh, you can you know if you're very new to on this term. So in order for you to understand, lamp stack stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So what we are going to do is from a Linux perspective, we are going to use a CentOS machine in which we are going to install Apache, MySQL database, and uh, PHP. Okay. And we'll also see how we can copy some uh, index.php file into the Apache web folder. Okay, so that will be the overall tutorial, and we are going to write the complete Ansible playbook for it. So, if you are very new to my uh, channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel, okay, and uh, like this video, share, and comment. So in order to start, I have uh, two uh, machines. One is uh, the Ansible 1 machine where I, I have the Ansible installed and I have a client machine which is, you know, uh, which is localhost, okay, where I'll be using that as a target machine. So from Ansible 1 machine, I'll be running the playbook so the uh, LAMP uh, stack will be installed on the other machine, okay. So before I start, uh, I will use a text editor sublime text uh, to write the you know, playbook so it's easy for us to copy the content into the uh, our ansible machine okay so as a yaml format it usually start with uh, three hyphens right so that's the first part okay and uh, for ansible playbook uh, you have to set the host okay and uh, my host our name is test servers i believe let me check it yep it's a uh, test servers so if you don't know where it is set you can just go to cd slash etc slash ansible and uh, you will have a host you can check a host here or you can use your own host uh, which you have defined okay so you can see my server uh, group is called test servers okay where I have put the IP address of my client machine okay. okay let me go back to the text editor okay and I'm going to use the uh, user as root okay okay so it should be remote underscore user okay if you are using a different user you can add like uh, become yes okay if it's not a root user and if you want uh, the root permission okay and let me start with the task so the first part is like we need to install apache mysql and also uh, php right so i'm going to name this task as installing apache mysql and php okay and uh, since I'm using a CentOS uh, machine, uh, I'm going to use a YAM module for this. If you are using uh, Ubuntu or something, you can use apt uh, module for this step, okay? And uh, I'm going to name the uh, packages which I want to install, okay? So in my previous section, if you have seen, you know, I have separately installed each, each uh, topics and i have used maria db there so here i'm going to use mysql itself okay and i'm going to combine all those installation together so first one is httpd which is for apache okay and uh, the next one is i want to install mysql community hyphen server okay the next one is uh, mysql want to install uh, community client okay so i want to install both and uh, next one is i want to install php okay and 
and the last one is I want to install PHP MySQL okay so if you want to add any other package you can just add it below so uh, you don't have to separately create tasks for this okay so I have combined all those things together there are other ways to do it as well you can use uh, something like you know you can use a variable here uh, like packages okay and then you can add a var and you can add the packages or the so there is other ways as well okay but this is the simplest way so I'm just keeping it like this okay and we need to mention uh, what this uh, state should be so I'm going to use state install okay so I want to install all these uh, packages okay if it's like if you want to remove just change it to absent the state should be absent so it will remove all these uh, packages so once the installation is completed the next step should be like you know we need to uh, enable these services and start right so I'm going to uh, do that in two separate tasks okay so enabling and starting the service HTTPD okay so I'm going to use the module here which is the service module okay and I'm going to call uh, name HTTPD Okay, you don't need uh, the hyphen or other name HTTPD. Okay, and the state should be enabled, so it should be yes. And uh, state should be starter. Okay, so what it will do is like it will uh, enable the HTTP service and it will start. Okay, so let me add one more. Um, task I'm going to name it uh, enabling and uh, starting the service MySQL okay and again I'm going to use the module here service module okay and the name should be MySQL D okay and that's the service name and uh, enable should be yes and uh, state should be started okay so I'm done uh, on the enabling part itself also okay so this will install uh, our whole lamp stack and all both the service will be started as well and just to add one more task over here so once we uh, create the lamp stack we have the Apache folder where we have the normal index.php or HTML file right so I want to copy one file uh, which to that location as part of uh, this process okay so we can just to see how the copy also works so if you have any web page or something you can use the same method okay so I'm going to name this uh, task as uh, copying the PHP file okay And I'm going to use the module here as copy module okay and the source directory so I have this uh, file saved inside a cd slash and simple okay let me go to the home location and see and simple playbook okay so if you see I have a file called index.php okay so I'm going to use that over here so the location will be slash root and symbol playbook index.php okay and the destination where this has to be copied it should be var slash ww slash html slash index dot php okay so that should be the location where this index.php will be copied into and I'm going to also force it so if there are some file it can force uh, write it so that is all uh, for this playbook so if you see uh, what we have done it let me just make it a little bit smaller so you can see everything in the same screen okay so if you see like uh, you know we are just installing all the service Apache MySQL and PHP then enabling both the services and then just copying this file okay so let me copy this content okay let me go to my ansible uh, 
machine okay and I let me create a ansible yaml file okay so and call it this uh, slamstack dot yaml okay I'm going to paste this over here so I have copied the uh, all the content over here okay and I'm going to save this file and uh, if you if I go to this machine uh, let me show you like uh, I don't have any service uh, running for HTTPD or MySQL D okay so let me go back and uh, let me run the Ansible playbook okay so to run the Ansible playbook you need to call Ansible playbook and uh, let me call the YAML file okay okay so it has started the playbook so you can see it's uh, trying to gather the facts so it's saying okay first then it will go for the installation step okay so you can see the installation is completed now it's uh, moving to the next task to enable the service and uh, the third task right and now it's copying the file and it's all completed right so now let's see uh, what is data in our other machine okay so previously we did not see uh, the service so now if you see the services are active and running right let me see for uh, mysql as well you can see that is also running right let's see the path or slash ww slash html you can see there is a file called index.php right so you can see you know the content as well okay okay so uh, that was very quick video okay so you may see some problem like you know when you're running the installation uh, you may see like you know sometimes the SQL side MySQL side you may get a message like uh, the package is not available or something so you just need to add the repo for MySQL uh, in the machine or you can add that also part of your uh, playbook so it can be also added automatically so if you're getting any issues just uh, send me a comment so i can send you the detail and i'll probably i will link the uh, repo also in the video description okay i will also uh, add this uh, link for my github where uh, the whole yaml file is there so you can just copy the yaml file from there as well okay so that is all for this uh, tutorial for with lamp stack okay so I hope uh, this is an informative tutorial for you and uh, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel. So again, it's a request from my end and uh, like this video, share and comment.